Hi, it's Terry Edwards here from Make More Placements. We're the company that recruitment and search business owners come to if they want to generate more leads, make more placements and earn more money. And welcome to today's Recruitment Fuel. This is a daily podcast. It's your daily fuel for your mind. So your thinking is your number one factor for your recruitment business success. If you want to make more placements to serve more of your market, you're going to have to think and behave in a certain way. And the purpose of these podcasts is to help you become the number one recruitment business owner or search firm owner in your niche. I want to share something with you. I want this to really sink in. Right now, out there, you have some competitors in your market right now with less skill, experience, higher fees, who are winning more clients and making more placements than you right now. I don't know how you personally feel about that, but some of the recruitment and search firm owners that I speak to on a regular basis, I kind of get pissed off about the very thought of that. But it's true. See, your potential clients don't really care about how much experience you have in the market. If years of experience was a crucial factor, then only the the experienced recruiters would get the business. However, you know, and I know, that isn't the case. Hell, I know rookie recruitment business owners who've scaled the business and started thinking about possibly selling the business within a couple of years of being in business, whilst at the same time, more experienced recruitment and search business owners never get to the next level. I'm going to share with you why that, why that is uh, shortly. Let me also tell you, your success has got nothing to do with your ability to find the best possible candidates for the role. I've worked with recruiters, quite frankly, who are lousy recruiters. They actually hate doing the recruiting, the recruitment process, and often they will outsource it to somebody else if they can. They never make an outrageous claim to their hiring manager that they're going to find the best candidate out there. They do promise to find the candidate that closely matches what the hiring manager is looking for. Your success has got nothing to do with you being the cheapest recruiter or search firm. You already know that you've got competitors out there that charge less than you and get business, as well as recruiters out there who charge more than you and get get business. Some recruiters then say, yeah, but Terry, it's a niche that I'm working in. It's a competitive niche. Look, if you truly believe it's a niche that you're working in, there's nothing stopping you from choosing another market to work in. Though I ought to warn you that the recruiters struggle in every market. But in every market, there's a small percentage who thrive rather than just survive. Now, you may be thinking, yeah, but in my market, there's a shortage of of, of candidates. So that's why we don't fill all the roles. If only we'd find the candidates. Sorry to burst that bubble for you, but the recruitment and search firms are right there right now who have a 92% fill rate in the market. Now, you're probably thinking that's so unfair. But what the hell? If it's not being a good recruiter, it's not the niche that I'm working in, if it's not the fees, and there's not a shortage of the candidates, then what the hell is it? Well, I've got some great news for you. There's only two things that matter when it comes to growing your recruitment business, and making more placements at higher fees. The two things are marketing and sales. Let me just explain. Marketing is the process of getting hiring managers in your market to be interested in your recruitment service before they have a need for that service. Good marketing results from recruitment and search firms getting... 20 meetings a month per consultant with new potential clients who are looking for a recruiter. Just for a moment, think what that would mean to your business if each of your consultants could get 20 meetings a month, every single month, with a hiring manager who's looking for your services. And by the way, let me be clear about this. This type of marketing does not entail cold calling. In fact, we'd actually recommend that you don't cold call, but that's a story for another time. So marketing is the first process. And the second one is sales. Sales is a term used to describe the activity that leads to selling of your recruitment or search service and you getting or and you always rather getting paid for the work that you do good sales results for you deciding who you work with when you work with them and what fee you will be paid if you do not experience that I mean, you can appreciate one side some of your competitors have more business than you right now like i said you may find that unfair but that's just the way it is If you're an owner or director of a recruitment or search business, you want a proven way for attracting more of the right clients who are happy to pay you the fee that you want and always pay you for the work that you want, go to makemoreplacements.com and get some free training there. So that's makemoreplacements.com. This is Terry Edwards from from Make More Placements. Please feel free to share this with other recruitment and search business owners who are looking to grow their business. As I said, if you want more information on this, go to Make 
moreplacements.com. Until next time, take care, take action, be relentless.